Tonight, Russian officials defending President Trump against those in the U.S. raising questions about his relationship with Moscow. A top Kremlin aide sounding a similar note to the White House and ridiculing the question about Trump possibly working for Russia. And the foreign minister even arguing that the U.S. Congress is illegally trying to hamper the president's foreign policy agenda. The U.S. Constitution gives the president the right to determine and execute foreign policy. We do know that this right has been coming under attack from the Congress. The issue is covered extensively. However, this does not make these attacks constitutional, and it does not make them less illegal either. As the Trump administration grapples with the ongoing government shutdown and one of America's top allies, the United Kingdom, faces a messy exit from the European Union, which President Trump supported, on one of Russia's top political talk shows, an analyst claiming President Trump is in a battle against the so-called deep state in the West. All of the Western world is in a deep crisis. This liberal and capitalistic world is in a deep crisis. Trump, in his actions, is a saving grace for America because there is that deep state or the Democratic Party wanting to make the USA a global policeman and stick its nose anywhere. But Trump says the American people do not need that. All this as the Mueller investigation into possible collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign increases in tempo. A top Russian senator telling CNN he believes his country is the victim of political infighting in the U.S. and of President Trump's critics. Russia is um, a victim of this uh, anti-Trump campaign because I think it is the first time that uh, the uh, interests of those who would like to um, bring down the American president coincide with the interests of those who would like to have a bad relationship with Russia. How do I do? And while improvement in the relations between Russia and the U.S. hardly seems in sight, Moscow today vowed that American pressure would never make it change its policies.